YouTube, what is good? So today we're gonna to be making some photos in Atlanta's train stations. We're gonna be doing some underground photography with the Fuji X-H1. Now this is also my third day out of six days on this daily video grind. If you are new to the channel, basically what I'm doing, I'm forcing myself to learn this new camera, get used to it by making videos every single day for the next six days. Today is day three. And it has been a struggle. I do not understand how people make videos every single day and publish them, they're crazy. But that being said, my whole goal with this is to learn this new camera. And in today's video, there is a slight issue at the beginning with some audio. I'm still figuring out some audio settings with this camera, so there's a little bit of like cut off. It doesn't sound too good. I would have cut it out of the video, but it's kind of essential to the storyline to let you understand what we're doing, give you some context. So. I wanted to leave it in, but if you do not want to watch it, you don't want to listen to some slightly not as good audio, I totally get it. Skip to this time in the video right here. Now that I got that out of the way, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Now, let's go make some photos. YouTube, what is good? We got the sunglasses on again because I'm looking very tired. That is not gonna stop us today. We are getting out to shoot really quick. I got a few things to shoot today, but the first is going to be some underground photography. Now remember, probably like a week ago when I was testing this camera for the first time, I got kicked out of this train station before I could even make any photos. So we are going to go down to a MARTA station right now and make this photo that I tried to make almost a year ago today. So basically I tried to make this photo about a year ago and I have not been back since, but today we are making it happen. I'm gonna switch into GoPro mode real quick so I can give you the behind the scenes and I'll explain a little bit more background of what we're doing so GoPro mode let's get it so here we go first I'm taking off this microphone that was giving me so many issues today because obviously I don't need it now I'm switching to an ultra wide lens my Fuji 10 to 24 millimeter ultra wide is great for this location we're about to go to this train station is crazy it's big it's wide open it looks like something from a spaceship it is definitely one of my favorite places to shoot in Atlanta but like I mentioned they do like to kick out photographers I don't know why they have such an issue with people taking photos down here so most of the time when I'm making photos I get kicked out now right here I'm just doing kind of some warm-up photos some warm-up shots getting my settings right checking my white balance all that good stuff photography is just like sports you gotta do some warm-up reps kind of get yourself going get into it before you really get the result you want now check this place out how crazy is this train station? Every time I go down here, I love it. Now right here, I'm setting up this quick shot. I see this guy walking into the frame and I want to get like a hyper symmetrical photo, all that symmetry. And you can see right here, my camera is slightly off center. It's off from the center line. And you can see that in the photo I made. It's just not perfectly symmetrical. You can see the escalator doesn't line up with the lights. The lights are just a little bit off. It's it's just slightly off. I missed on the symmetry. And with this type of photo, symmetry is really the main thing you're going for. It would have been nice to have that with the guy walking through the frame, but it is what it is. One way to fix that would have been me standing there for just a little bit longer, really framing up the shot and making sure I had that symmetry on point instead of just walking up and taking the photo like that. So right here, I'm you know, trying to act low key. You know, hey, don't kick me out. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just some guy hanging out with a camera. But I'm making my way over to what will be my tripod for the day, which is this trash can right here. Now, this trash can, aka this tripod, this is why I'm using this. I'm going to do a long exposure photo and get the train moving on the left side of the image and do another photo to get a train moving on the right side. And then in post, I was going to put these two photos together so it looked like I had moving trains on both sides of the image. But right here, I get lucky and I get one train leaving as another train comes in so I can get both trains moving in one photo, one single exposure. Now my settings for this image was ISO 100. I went with a super low ISO and a very high aperture of f22. This is so I can get a longer exposure time of 20 seconds and really get a lot of movement on that train. Like I said, my plan with this photo was to get one exposure with the train on the right, one exposure with the train on the left, mask them together in Photoshop, but it didn't look like I was going to have to do that. So at this point, I don't really know if I got the photo or not. It's like I always say, you never really know until you get home and you can look at it in the computer. So later in the video, towards the end, once I'm home, once I edit the shot, we'll go over it. I'll talk about my likes, dislikes, how I think it ended up. But 
as of right now, I think it came out pretty nice. Now, I didn't have a lot of time today, but of course on my way out, I'm still trying to make photos. I could have been down here for an hour. Every time I come down here, I just want to try so many different ideas, so many different things. I love the architecture here. I need to come one morning like super early or super late at night when there's not a lot of people and try to get it when the place is completely empty. There we go, just like that, got in, got out, and just published today's video on YouTube as well. See, photography doesn't have to be complicated. Like that took, what, 25 minutes to have an idea, go out, try the idea, and now we gotta head to Epitome ATL. They have a very dope pair of sneakers that I gotta take photos of. We're getting done today. ATL. We have to take photos of these real quick. It's not going to take me too long. I'm not even going to include it in the vlog because I'm just going to shoot them on a white backdrop with a flash. Really simple, but check these out. This is the Air Max 270. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really like these. I will not be picking them up um, because I've spent way too much money on camera equipment in the last month. Switching camera systems is like a money pit. You got to buy all new filters, all this stuff. And I'm tired of spending money, but yeah, I'm gonna take photos of these real quick. I'll uh, show you the result when I'm done. If you want to check these out, you can. Yo, what? What is that airplane? If you do want to check out a pair of these, you can at Epitome ATL in Buckhead. Got myself a little bit of ice cream. Me and Katie went out and got some dinner. After I made those photos at Epitome, you didn't really miss anything. I had to stay there for a while, do some other work, and I was basically just sitting at the computer like a caveman hunched over with terrible posture. Yo, this ice cream cone, absolutely delicious. Yo, so I know I'm only on day three of this whole vlogging everyday thing, but I gotta say, it's kind of doing the opposite effect. I thought I would be disorganized and like really stressed out, but I kind of feel more organized. Like I've been super productive the last three days. One thing done after another, after another. Not mad about it. So I know y'all love to hate on my hair, but I don't know what happens. It's like one day, hair's cool. Next day, puff. Gotta get a haircut now. Do you want to do that tomorrow? <laughs> I gotta figure that out. All right, we're back home. We just got done editing the photo from today's shoot. Here it is now. So here's my thoughts on this photo. If I had to rank it out of five, the way F Stoppers does it, I'm giving it a three. Like it's, it's cool, but it could be better. In my opinion, when it comes to like city photography, landscape, architecture, all this stuff, what takes it to the next level is the details. You have to get all the fine details right to really make an image like this stand out and make it be spectacular. And this one's just cool, you know, it's, it's just a three, it's whatever. It's not bad, it's not great. Now let me explain to you what I think went wrong or what I think could be done to take this photo to a better level, make it more interesting. The first thing would be me actually using a tripod. Now using a trash can is good for being low key because I was worried about security asking me to leave, but at the end of the day, a tripod is really going to give you the best result, much better results than a trash can. The second thing is picking a better time to go. We went in the mid afternoon, you know, there were a decent amount of people around and this one guy just stood right in the middle of the photo. I mean, it's like, dude, come on, but that's the price you pay. This photo would look much better on a completely empty train station, in my opinion, or just with less people so close in the foreground. Maybe if they were back off in the distance, it would have looked a little bit better. I don't know if it being completely empty would actually be a good thing because I think it's cool to have like a little bit of life, show that it's active, but empty would look cool too. The second thing is there's a little bit of light diffraction. The light is not clean, there's a little bit of noise, and I think that's because I took the lens up to f22. I wanted to let the least amount of light in, but f22 can lead to a lot of diffraction, light issues, stuff like that. So I think shooting more at like f8 and then timing my shot a little bit better and having my shutter speed being more like 
eight seconds, maybe six seconds, something like that, I think that would have been a little bit more beneficial and I would have got a cleaner photo. Now the third thing is really interesting and this is something I didn't notice while we were out shooting. I noticed it in the video footage after the fact. The train on the left side of the photo, the lights inside that train, they have like a very cool color to them. They're like blue lights. And the train on the right side has more warm lights, more like white yellowish lights. And I do not like the way this looks. I wish both trains had that blue streak. That blue on the left side is very powerful. It's nice, it looks good. And then on the right, it's not so good. It is what it is, you know? That's how it goes, that's the name of the game. That's photography. So even though I wasn't the biggest fan of my photo today, I hope you can take some of the things we did in today's video, use them as inspiration, go out and make your own photos, you know? It's so cool when I get messages on Instagram and Twitter and email and stuff saying your videos motivate me to get out to shoot, they give me ideas. That is what it's all about, that's why I really enjoy making these videos, you know? I want you guys to go enjoy photography as much as I do. So with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Do me a solid, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment with video ideas, something you may wanna see, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.